Welcome guys! Today I'm pretty excited to get you into socket programming, which is really really cool stuff. So let's get going. If we have two PCs on a network connected by a switch or over a simple crossover cable, then we can communicate over it. Well, not by any application built by some information system, but by the code written by us on our text editors. So the code will be pretty powerful and we'll be using the ports which are there in the computers for communication. So I think we can do three codes or three applications. Number one would be a chat application. We can write code so that we can have a chat. Number two would be a client server calculator application so we can give numbers and operations to do from the client side the server uh, will compute it and tell us the answer on the computer side and this all will be writing a code on a text editor so this is a very powerful programming socket programming gives you a lot of power and it is really cool stuff and the number three what we'll be going to do is file transferring So you would be actually able to send files from PC1 to PC2. But uh, remember one thing, there are no worries if you're working on a single PC. I'll be getting you through that how you can transfer or how you can simulate the conditions of PC1 and PC2 on your own PC. So you have only one PC and not a network. No worries, you can still learn socket programming. Now, let's get you through what actually the code is. So... If you say if you're on PC one and if you say hi, this message would be transferred to PC two, and the person on PC two will send you, "Hey, how's you?" Ah, well, you can have your chat going on until a condition you specify, such as a buy condition, whether both PCs will shut down and say it's a lot of chatting. Let's get going. Okay, so now let me take you through what the actual, the real code looks. Okay, so just have a look at this code. We have one code for client and one code for server. So as I told you, uh, I'm also not working on a network. Right now I'm making this video and I'm not a network. So I will be running both these codes on a single machine and getting the simulation of a network. So what we will be doing is getting into two terminals and those two terminals would be our two PCs. So just have a look at this code. We have a lot of hash includes. The code will be in this will be in C. And we have some error functions, command line arguments, structures, and whatnot. This code really looks horrible. And let me tell you, I found a very difficult time learning this. So and on internet there are various resources which are very obscure some of them are not good and many of them are bullshit absolutely bullshit so i decided myself to make a pretty good tutorials series on this talk topic of socket programming and get you through by making three applications chat app chat application the calculator application and the file transfer application okay so let's see how actually this code works so as I told you it is no worry if you are not on a network I am um, also not on a network so I'll be simulating the conditions on my own machine so you will be able to learn the socket programming on your own machine with the help of terminal and one more terminal so this two terminals would be what you need so this number terminal number one would be for PC number one, which would be the server, and the terminal number two would be the client, which would be, which would be the PC number two. So yes, we are simulating it on our own machine. So let's run the code and let me tell you what we are going to learn in our first application. So let's navigate to desktop and I've already compiled the file and compiled the code. Now let's shoot up the server. Okay, I have not provided the port number really, sorry. We need to provide the 
port number. The port number is something on which the messages are transferred. So let's take the port number 9999, pretty good number. Okay, the server has now powered on. The PC number 1 is on. Now let's on the PC number 2. Okay, and now we get to desktop where I've stored my files and compiled there. Now dot slash client for the client code. And now write loopback or 127.0.1. So what actually loopback or 127.0.1 is the address of your own PC. So if you are on network, then you need to write the address of the server. Right now, we are on the same computer, so we'll write look back. And the port number needs to be the same, that is of the server. So let's shoot this. So okay, so our chat application has started. So let's write, hey, how's you? Now it's on the server side. I'm great, man. How are you? What's up? Okay, so we get the same string over here. The server is saying, I'm great, man. How are you? What's up? Now, like a uh, typical girl, let's reply the server like nothing much. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. This is what we'll be looking at. This is a really cool stuff that on a simple code we, that we have written, we are able to use the functionalities of the computer like ports and sending a data stream over the ports. So in next tutorial, I will get you through the introduction of what actually the prerequisites are for TCP programming and then we will start coding. See you guys, JJ here. I hope you would like, subscribe and share this to anyone who feels necessary and is really really interested in doing this thank you goodbye